Gerard. Yes. Hello. Oz. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, it's what's called. We, so we are... You two are dads, right? Uh, yes, we are parents. Yes, you both have you both have children. Yes. So I thought I mean I've played through this that dragon cancer this game we're looking at uh, the other day, like and I don't have any kids. Me being Donald, so I had no I, so I had a different perspective to what potentially like someone who has kids would would potentially have this game. So I thought I'd drag you guys in here just to give you just to show you that dragon cancer. Now, do you guys know anything about this game? Uh, no, but I will say it's a good idea because when you've got kids, you look at things different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the... I, I know that I've got a different relationship to things like The Last of Us and Nia than most people. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you just it just because you can relate to things. Yeah, um, and things you see on the news and that will affect you a little, trigger you a little bit more. And yeah. I don't mean to use that word mockingly. I mean it actually does. Cause, it does because you see things and and uh, and because you got your own, and we both got a daughter and a son. Yep. So we've got a, a set. One of each. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, and they're, they're still young. So uh, this should be very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So like, so if, for those of you who don't know at home, That Dragon Cancer is a, a autobiographical game by the Green family about uh, the trials that they went through as their um, younger, as the youngest son, Joel, contracted uh, effectively brain cancer. <coughs> Ooh. It's a. It's not exactly a light, happy game, and don't worry, um, Gerard. I've got Deus Ex loaded here <laughs> just to just to give you a sort of an antidote. So go to my happy place. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Already, the subject matter is going to make me feel a bit more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So we might as well just make a start. Well, let's go. Let's go new game. Yeah. Uh, I like the graphic style. So is the there colors. multiple endings or? No. <laughs> 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 uh, it's gonna have a few uncomfortable laughs, I reckon. This one. Hmm. I like this style. Yeah, it's got an indie game style. It looks very nice. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a usual indie thing of say like of making the most of your limited resources. Yeah, and sometimes it can look really good. Sometimes it looks a bit cheap. This this looks nice. Hmm. Now, there's a whole thing of like having an intentionally minimalist style in this game so that you can eat much more easily project yourself onto all these characters. Yeah. Also, it makes things like the duck is done more detailed yeah. in the environment, so it stands out. Let's look around. Okay, guys, give some to Joel. Share with Joel. Oh, you're the duck. Oh, we're a duck at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. Quick, quick. There's a person over there. Can I move? Yep, just click. Oh, I'll click, okay. So yeah. Keys. Click. Yeah, we're yeah. Oh, uh, brick. Oh. Right, hello there. Uh, back, 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 it's like a trail. It's a trap. Tell you what, I've got so used to using controllers over the last few years. Here we go. Come on. Look, he's getting yours. And I was going to say, theoretically, the, the mouse heavy controls here are designed to sort of increase the accessibility of this game, and yet, Gerard, you look like you're. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm using a trackpad thing. <laughs> uh, plus, oh, look, I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, let's go see this human. Oh, oh hello, you're the whole friend. Hey! <laughs> well, Isaac, you've got to give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. <laughs> Here you go, John. Here's a piece. Okay, no, you try. You're almost five, right? Yeah. So but, he, but he can't talk. It's true. Yeah. He wants to talk. Yeah, I know. Why can't he <laughs> talk? Well, throw a bread like nobody's six and right after he turned one. Kind of slowed him down a little bit, buddy. Yeah. So he's just slower than most kids. He's eventually he'll catch up. Yeah. 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 Read? yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Uh, I think, of course, he's just the right, because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he feels like 
Yeah. You're supposed to be a boy, but he's a baby. He's a boy baby. <laughs> yep, what? he's a boy baby. That's just about right. See, right now the duck's gone. I really like how game is going. You know, there's lots of things, Joel, isn't there? <laughs> there's some things he's a lot nicer. <laughs> 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 yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the way the text is making him laugh. You are good at making it laugh. Why, how do you make them laugh? I fall down. Yeah. Mm. It's really funny when you fall down. He's gonna kill us. It's a really weird obsession of mine, but like, yeah. always, like whenever a game has a sort of, has a sort of, um, a handwritten style of fonts to it, I always try to pick out whether they've gone, uh, they've just gone copy paste with letters or not, whether they've created two or three different styles of, like, say, the letter L. Oh, okay, yeah. If they're done actual fonts. If it's an or if, they, if they've gone so deep that they ran, like they can have a font that gives what a much more sort of a handwritten cool. look. Yeah. If you're programming, wow. it's quicker early to just draw it. Cups, but bad. Yeah. if you're going to have a lot, it's quicker to just draw it. And the warm wet tongues and the cool fur of dots. Maybe the sweet was of daily affection. And bye byes. And blown kisses. And more. So well, I'm guessing the author has some sort of relationship to this the full list of the author of the game. Like this is like so this is their this is their story of their son uh, son's battle with cancer. It's like this, these are all ba these all these vignettes are based on true experiences that have happened to the Green family. So the whole Green and, and family it, involved in uh, yeah, like it is very much a personal project in their part. Indeed, yeah. like there, a lot of the audio comes from um, home recordings as well. Oh wow. Yeah. That's pretty deep. Mm. That's pretty great. Like, yeah. I, I don't know the ending of this game, but it's it pretty brave to put up the voice of your your child what is hope in the game. Without a word for it. I'm, I'm guessing like it's just it their it was their way of um, just coping yeah. of of documenting uh, what's called uh, this stage of Joel's life. Yeah. Well, they could write it down, or they could do something like this and but, share it in a yeah. way that people can live it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's a, it's a, I'm just saying it's a brave decision, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, certainly. Like, like there's a weird uh, voyeurism as well, just to this game, too, because they use home recordings. That, like, I know personally, I know the back, I knew the backstory of, of this game going into it, so I knew, like, how much Ooh, of man. how much of the, of the family <laughs> is was put into this game. He's in the hospital, so they're taking care of him, and that's how he gets his Keep food. spinning. His food goes through that too. Or not? Yeah. yeah. Do you oh, want to touch him? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you just pat his cheek, okay? Okay. Come faster, Eddie. Faster. Like, what were some of the the what what are your um, children's go-to playground rides? What do they always be towards? My daughter swings. Yeah. Um, my son likes this, like rock climbing things and play, play around here. Like, just a little just, wall where yeah. you can go rock climbing. So it's not just a cargo net? No. Uh, he likes them too, but some walls are like, you know, like little hand holes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's weird because our kids are sort of the same age, like, swapped yeah. within two years of each other. Um, and my daughter swings. And my son, Ethan, you can climb. Yeah. Hmm. It's like they're different. Like, girls always like swimming, boys like climbing. Mm. Trying to give their mum a heart attack. Huh. Have they ever attempted to go the, the full loop de loop around the swing? Oh, the swing's <laughs> not designed that way. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> if you want to get off, you can just uh, move, you can move the mouse so you can see the exit yep. symbol there. Bye. Bye bye, Joel. Oh, my dog actually likes monkey bars in there too. Yeah. They also like chasing each other. Probably not the right word, but like <laughs> following each other like over the whole thing. Like, you know, 
up the mountain monkey bars and across to this section and walk across that bridge. Yeah. And, yeah up so down just, the slide. just follow the leader basically, yeah. yeah. Right. But over the whole thing, like yeah. an obstacle course. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the other part of the game. Trying to squeeze in front of the other and get down the slide. Yeah. Or yeah. You know, go. Follow the other one down the slide so you're banging their back and their back. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, and then then pretend they didn't do anything. Set. Come on, come down. Back and Go. Tap to go. Oh, tap to go. Right. Okay, Joel. Ready? Yes. Set. Go! Go! It's like a quick time. Oh Was that cartoon in the that that, 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 kid the show, that Australian kid show in the mid nineties that had that faceless um, baby doll as one of the characters? <laughs> no, I never watched that. <laughs> Lift off, I think it was. No, I don't know that. One. <laughs> Do it again. Is that like I wouldn't remember the trauma yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like, say, like, anytime, it, like, British British TV or Australian TV has tried to emulate the success of, like, say, Sesame Street, it just ends up being really, really off the mark, <laughs> creepy. I think any time an overseas <laughs> thing tries to emulate the success. Of a show from another country that make it up. Yeah, like, maybe with the exception of The Office, but that was, I think, closely like uh, helped with. Yeah. Yeah. It's like say, like when, like say, when the British tried to do like a version of Sesame Street in the seventies, like, like it just ended up being really the dolls, the puppets that they used were just slightly off-putting. They also tried to do an episode about death, but it just ends up being much, much more morbid than <laughs> this, this Sesame Street ever did. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think there's cultural. Oh, God. No, 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 I've never seen that. I don't want to see it again. Hey, babe, just touch on the doctor. Um, I'm just showing them a, a, like, a photo of this lift off baby doll here, and so yeah. That looks like the kid in the game. <laughs> yeah. That's traumatic. But that if he's still throwing up after that, then we can come back. And I mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So I guess we'll just give this a try. And I don't know, I'll tell you more about it when you get home. That's fine. Yeah. All right, where now? Just um, back down that path. Right the, the, no, where you were just looking. Okay, we are... Yeah. Yeah, no, you spend a lot of time uh, worrying about your kids. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Like, was it set, like, does there sort of a disproportion trip? Like, the first kid, like, any small thing, like, you go straight to the doctor, but the second kid, you know what you're going to go into. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Wow. My daughter's actually got fun. Like as a non-child bearer, I've got one piece of advice that is actually pertinent to people with parents. Yeah, don't post pictures of your kids on Facebook because we don't care. That I, I agree yeah. with that. That, <laughs> that and what's it called? If you're bringing a kid onto a plane, always bring a lollipop. Oh yeah. Fear yeah. is oh, cancer's yeah. preserver. You've got to be, you be considerate well, of everybody. Cancer's embalming <laughs> yeah. well, I, uh, oil. I flew to Japan. I got my and you are accuser. I got my daughter. I fears oil sick. Mentos. Yep. A serpent. A dragon snuffed out coal on his breath, 
molten, talons yeah. broken from the struggle yeah, to free thing, yourself like, of your own thing. skin. Suck on it, it helps that it helps with the ear blocking. Yeah, yeah. And that was that was it. Mm. Like I they were like, Can I have some? No. Can I have some? No. And mm. then when we took off I said, Yes, now you can have some, but save half for the trip. Yeah. yeah. And, um, my son didn't, he just ate that. <laughs> I was going to say, save half. <laughs> <laughs> save save all well, this is not something well, for me. My with. daughter had two packets of Mentos. <laughs> so, yeah, she kept one for the return trip. My son just ate all his snacks all at once. My boys are saying, if you're going to say, don't eat them all now, save some for later, you might as well just look at him and go, <laughs> 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 blah, 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 when she gets lolly, she'll keep some. She stashes them everywhere, hiding yeah. from her brother. Uh, <laughs> so, so she's learning. <laughs> so she puts them all over the joint. But um, yeah, no, I'm a boy. Oh, see lolly, eat lolly. Mm. Hey, do you want a rock? See, that's actually a sad scene because there's nothing nicer than, and they tell you not to. They say don't do it, but when you've got a baby, when they lie on your chest like that, it's just really nice. Yeah, yeah. It just, but they always say don't do it because the kid will get used to it. But you go, oh, I'm, I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah they talking cool. to the kid or to the parent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Same as when you're lying down, uh, lying in bed, and they'll just lie on your chest. Yeah. I think it's because they, they get your heartbeat and everything. But... Where am I going now? I like the Deus Ex colouring of this scene. It's <laughs> <laughs> Is that just... any opportunity, Gerard? <laughs> hey, babe. I was just thinking. Do you ever think maybe Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know, like, it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like today, he hears music playing before I do. So. I saw him dancing and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing. And I just don't, like if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know, I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. I'll tell you, most things, <clears throat> I don't know, it's like, it can be cancer, but I know most kids, they can do everything better than what they let on most times. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they'll hear everything you say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the baby? My um, son had um, <coughs> has, has a blockage in one ear, and he had to actually have grommets inserted. Yeah. Yep. So I can relate to that. Like he actually, he seemed like he could hear fine, but you you tell him something, and he wouldn't actually acknowledge it. He'd just nod his head and say, "Yep, yep, yep." Yeah, if he didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. Was he just not listening, or was he actually not hearing? Like. And that was so hard, and we didn't figure it out until we um, went to the ear, nose, and throat doctor, and he actually said, no, no, there's a blockage in his left ear, and he has to have uh, surgery to have a grommet inserted. But yeah, we always thought it was, you know, is it, you know, something they, medical, or is it just ignoring it? Why are they flying hand things? Their gloves are blown up, aren't they? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Ah! Go away. Go away, go away. Away, 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 you are. Yeah, no, my kids do that without any blockage. I'll sit there playing Minecraft all day and I'll ask them to do things. If I say, go to the cupboard and grab yourself something to snack on, yeah. okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> kids. And then they just go into the game and make themselves some pork. <laughs> yeah. Kids are natural trolls. Uh, okay. What now? I can relate to, to some of the scenes they like holding the kids in that. It is nice actually when you got your little kids. Oh. <laughs> you still at the age like they still at the age when uh, when you can do that to them? No, nah, well daughter's getting a bit older now, so mm. to her everything's changed. Mm. So, I know you notice that with yours was? Yeah, my so, uh... Yeah, so So definitely how you interact is changing. Yeah. So which is fair enough, I mean, they've got a lot there. Uh, uh, My kids are actually, on. at the moment, I was like really, really close. Like, they'll ask for home for all day. And, uh, you know, when when they get up in the morning, uh, they're trying to with me. They just snuggle up with me. Am I guiding this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Which time. hasn't happened for the last couple of years. It's just started again. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
it's strange that yeah, that kind of went away and I thought, oh, well, that's never coming back. But it's actually come back. It's back to vengeance. Yeah. That's a hard, it's a hard bit. I know when I talk about this game in particular, man. Oh, I'm a guardian or not? Yeah. I am guardian. Yeah, trying to oh, avoid, okay. avoid the little oh, okay. um, black nodules there. Oh, trying to keep them away. Um, No, it's a hard one because you, because you, um, you kind of go. I don't want them to be reliant on having to have like a hug to go to sleep every night and all that because they've got to, they've got to like grow up a bit. Yeah. But you know that at some point it's never going to happen again. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you so. look at yourself and your own parents, and yeah, it's it's been like decades since there was any sort of thing like that, and you know that'll one day be you. <laughs> oh, did I? Sure. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, Where do you go? Yeah. So that's a fee you have. Yeah, <laughs> but it's part of part of price you pay in a way. You've got to get them to a point where they don't need you. But no, this scene is a fee you have. Oh. Where'd, oh. They, where'd they go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's not chewing on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter especially used to stand like that all the time. You can go to sleep for God's sake. <laughs> And when you go in the room and your kids are sleeping and they stir and you hit the deck like, yeah, yeah. in case they see you. <laughs> you become commandos. <laughs> Especially at Easter time and Christmas. <laughs> Actually, that's fun because, yeah, my daughter's friends have been telling her yeah. how Christmas really works. And she actually said, oh, I'm choosing not to believe it yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> My son. Or choosing not to believe in the truth or choosing not to believe in fiction? <laughs> in, the, in the truth. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Maybe because she figures then she won't get presents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My son's in the same boat, I think. Yeah. yeah. I, know it, I know it's you, but, you know. At yeah, this yeah, point in time, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm and he's, he's going along with my daughter, which is beautiful. <laughs> We've got a good system going, mum and dad. I'm not mucking it up yet. Uh, all right, I can't do anything yet. Yeah, oh, hey. Um, Hi. I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. That's another thing. Like, yeah. Ah. Oh, there we go. Ah, ah, come back. Jeez, what, he's Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have any dogs. My brother's got dogs. He used to, he used to find um, his his kids when they were babies and their dog licking each other's faces. <laughs> <laughs> like this. They'd be licking each other, though. So what do you do, you guys? I just worm them both. Here we go, bye. That's his heart. I'm guessing it's worth that red. I think if you play this as an experience to get to understand it, it's interesting. Mm. As a game, you'd be kind of going, oh yeah. As in like, as like, if we were to use the old metrics of graphics, audio, gameplay. Oh, it wouldn't work. No. No, but it's, I think what you're looking at is a uh, way of telling a story. Yeah. That's the thing, like, yeah, um, games aren't all that, like. And it's one of the, it's one of the cases where like interact where like where, like you hear the interactivity argument usually thrown about in terms of say um, video game violence, but like this is an instance where like where interactivity like like is like Aww, you can you can I'm see the tangible effects a bit of interactivity in that well, it's almost as if we're going through um, this. Well, it yeah. really puts you into the shoes of the um, parents here. They're sharing their story, and mm. I think that's good. 
I don't think it's an either or or thing. I think there, there's still a place for your, your uh, of course, yeah. commercial uh, uh, dude bro sort of shooters, but yeah, this sort of stuff's yeah. really cool. And indeed, like, I, there was a graph that I saw uh, a couple of weeks ago, like like amidst the whole amidst um, everyone um, raging on that dragon cancer. Oh, look, a certain circle raging on that dragon cancer in its Steam community. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, like around that time, there's also this graph that came out just of the amount of games that came out per year, and ever since like say 2011, when like when uh, what's more and more in, when it became super easy for everyone just to make and publish a game, that yeah. the amount of games made just skyrocketed. That we're getting more, just more games. We're getting the Dubro games, but we're also getting a lot of these more experimental, a lot quieter experiences as well. Yeah. I know it's part of like old game plus, like. The things that have 20th anniversaries hey, come around Hey, I'm cleaning around up eggs every, again. You know, three, a dozen eggs months. on the kitchen floor the things that have again. So we have to yeah. get a new every lock for the fridge. Do you, oh, it's so, so hard to clean up eggs from the floor. Like, they just spread around and they don't come yeah, clean no matter what you do. What, what so, that does suggest is that the I'm idea so of a game probably is outdated. You should have seen them like together. They were yes. so proud of themselves. What would you call it then? And don't say video game with one word, because that's not a thing. Isn't I was excited. No. I wonder why didn't recognise that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Talk to you soon. I, I think it's, I think it's more. It's, it's like that argument about review scores. You know, nine out of ten means what, right? To who? Who is it for? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the, the, like, the this word. Game, yeah, this game is impossible to score. But well, having said that, though, it's still got what? Let's say seventies on Metacritic. Yeah, that's, see, that's not bad. That's going to be a different thing. What kind of a game yeah. it is? And yeah, I'm trapped in the room. No, I think I saw, I saw the little leg symbol just um, popping up there, like, ever so briefly. There we are. There we are. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, but, like, there was, like, mass, like, like a lot of people just, like, it's, a lot of people converged on this game, like, for whatever reason, like, accusing the um, creators of uh, profiteering of cancer, even though, oh, you know, wow. it's their story. Like, accusing it of not being a game, and, well, yeah, so different how audiences. So, um, is this Steam game? Yeah. So how was it done? Was it a green light? Was it, it was a, uh, a uh, like it was kickstarted. Kickstarted, okay. Yeah, I think the key would be say I think it's not. It's presented in a video game style, but I don't know if it's a game. But I don't think there's anything wrong with like, that. Well, like, well, well, visual novel is a game. From the hospital now, yeah, but so if you wanted so to preview it, and technically this has more gameplay than a visual novel than yeah. say like say um yeah. Heart of a Boyfriend or something. Mm -hmm. I think. Do you want to celebrate off treatment day? Like the old terms we used. I, that's uh, I guess maybe you gamers know, you're not the and media as as I am, and everybody else. On someone's they're probably day, not, they always not as relevant and anymore. They, they need be off there more day uh, nuance to you. them. That that anyway, or just like well, like personally, like today, my like I mean, if someone calls their thing a game, then ninety nine percent it's a game. I just wanted that day. Yeah, but if you came here and you all the games you played were Madden and Call of Duty, yeah, then it's a stark difference. How is this? So yeah, but in saying that, different people at different stages of their life like different things. Yeah, and that's and that's entirely natural. So I could talk on my way home. All right, bye. Yeah, I can't imagine this resonating with a thirteen-year-old. The that's that bit was a bit powerful. Yeah. Sorry, I was kind of tuning you guys out, but you made me more. Really just want to yeah, just want to see. Alright. Yeah. Oh, we'll see now it's a game. Yeah. Blue shot. Mm. No, good one. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Sort of thing you're making with you. Maybe hit the little juice pad. Jeff, would you like me out? Do I have any rubber chickens in this game yet? Alright, the one. Cool. Get blood transfusions. Oh, I get you now. <laughs> the one by punches, that sounds awesome. Methotrexate, I love that one. Yes, like that, like, Well, I must say, at least, oh, just uh, stack. At least they didn't do like Fallout and demand they rename all the drug names. How long is it going to be before we can have some answers? Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Did anyone ask the doctor? Okay. I oh, know. And this looks like a little technique. Or Fallout. Or Fallout. Because yeah. the on call doctor is just a resident. Is 
there a way we could talk to our doctor? So I gather the, the black tree. It just seemed like yesterday in clinic they were going to let us yeah. go. I just yeah. want to know what the plan is. I just think that like a lot of this game does rely on visual metaphor. I mean, isn't it dangerous not exactly for subtle visual not metaphor, to get but, it? I again, thought he We're dealing it. with uh, what's called brain cancer here. Uh, you don't need to be subtle all the time. No. Uh, not, not even familiar with the word. Yeah. Do you want to have a shot? There you go. No, I don't, yep, so I don't like these controllers. Yeah, no, neither. Just trackpad and <laughs> mouse to click. Right click. Yep. I just discovered that um like on the on the setup we have here that there's a button on the keyboard that acts as a left mouse. I don't see why you'd I don't see why you'd hate this game. I can see why it's not for everybody. No. That's fair enough. But the existence of things shouldn't be too much of a concern. Um, it's only if they were saying this is all you get, which never is so No. But I think, yeah, as a storyteller, oh, they're medium, all hospital. Uh, yeah, no. Just go back. Is it back? Yeah. We'll just follow the, follow the footsteps. What's the cost on Steam? Uh, fifteen dollars or fifteen US dollars? That's like forty-five thousand Australian dollars <laughs> today. <laughs> Yeah, well, 12 months ago it was closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the all these things on these are um, these are stuff submitted by um, the community. Oh, right. oh the, the yeah. Kickstarter community. The Kickstarter the, the back the backers and just generally anyone who what's it called uh, just who wanted to not contribute hey, to this Yoga game. Hey, Yoga Huh. It is too. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> just going by the blue thing. Just legally distinct. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, allegedly, is that what we're supposed to say? <laughs> Use express Le Legally distinct. <laughs> Galactic trade. That's pretty cool. Right. To be honest, like when I was playing through this game, I didn't take much time to um, look at these wall pieces. So, like, <laughs> that no, was like just listen, maybe because like I needed to get like it was a latest that, night. Yeah, I was yeah that is the sort of thing kids draw. Yeah, it is. Although it's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> based on what I've seen. You know, like in my office, like <laughs> like in the office that I work at, yeah, there like a lot of um, parents bring their kids drawings, and yeah, there's a lot of that. Maybe not as ornate as that, but there's a lot of that. I mean, that, and that's the other get that one. yeah. That's the other thing that people end up taking issue with this game is like is the religious overtones. Oh really? Because like as you as you like it's probably like I won't. It's not spoiling too much to say that um, the Green family are very religious and they put a lot of, and a lot of that is reflected in this game. Well, I don't know what other people like, but I know when my daughter was being born and it was there's complicated and uh, there's a long time my wife didn't come out afterwards. Um, you st I'm not religious at all, mm. but you start considering the uh, considering the idea. Like a, like because when you like in a situation the, like that, yeah, it it, it does cross your mind because you almost get desperate because you're thinking, um, you know, like you're out of totally powerless. So the idea does enter your mind. Mm. Probably won't say too much more about that situation, but um, yeah, yeah. In, like in your, entire, your entire life, like when you have your first kid, like it just your entire world is upended. So anything's anything's up for grabs, well, in, including what's including um, what's called um, God. If there if there's a if there's a um, risk or a threat to it, um, that's out of your control, then mm. yeah, you start to consider that. I think like down the other hallway, there's a door that'll oh, yeah. um, trigger the Definitely. next chapter. Remember what they say: it's the best thing and the worst thing you you do at different times. Hmm. Have kids? Yeah, sometimes it's the worst thing you ever do. Hmm. Sometimes it's beautiful. Sometimes it's the worst thing you ever did. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, before, before I had my first kid, I asked, you know, if something goes wrong during the, the operation, um, 
do we save the kid or the, yeah. your wife? Yeah. And that, that's it's one of the hardest. That's a confronting discussion. Yeah. Also, when you're doing the ultrasounds. Yeah, mm. yeah. me and my um, ex-wife now, but we had, we had really heated discussions about that. Yeah, if you're going to get married and have kids, make sure you're on the same page about a lot of... Um, Moral issues. <laughs> just mm. pro tip, because uh, no, I know when you have the ultrasounds and that, and they're scanning for uh, if they if they've got any potential problems. Yeah. And the and the the they say to you, like you know, if they do have these yeah. problems, should you continue with the pregnancy or not? Yeah. Um, and that's a discussion that is good to have, but you'll find it's a hard lot. To have. Like, is that is that thing you sort of know going into, or like you're very much doing it on the fly? Like, you, these are the first time that you've considered something like this. You can have thoughts about it beforehand, right? So you can have an idea what you believe right now, but when you're there yeah. and and you're looking sometimes at, um, you know, the, the yeah those grainy pictures of the, the that look like aliens inside cocoon sort of things, right? When you're there, that discussion's different, and your wife will have a view, and you'll have a view, and uh, if they're not in line, it's it's you'll find out a lot. Yeah, I had that discussion. Like, you know, I um those ones. As <laughs> you are done, I love you, my friend. This is my favorite thing. Do you see? I just love it. Where do you go? Oh, hang on. <laughs> you touch it right here, then the big lion comes. Make a lion come. No, it's very lion. It's so loud. I can roar this lion. Yeah, you hear me roar? Roar! Don't be afraid, you might want to cover your ears. Here comes the animals. Tears Rolls is my favorite. Do you ever notice when you got the kids' books with all the animals in them, and you take your kid to the zoo to see all the animals, and every single animal is like, there's only 300 left in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, My that's son like, got really concerned with all that when he was like six or seven. He was like, well, asking about the extinction and what it means and how do we stop it. And was like, was he familiar with the concept of death anyway before that? Oh, not it's, not, it's not just really. that. It's the fact yeah. that these these animals that are in their books, right? Because kids' books have a lot of animals. Yeah. Right? And, and they're magical to kids, like things like lions and all that are just because they never seen. So you take them to see, and then you, they have a, gra a, not gra a map at the zoo, and where, where, they, are. And where they are, and it's a tiny red dot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're all endangered. And so all these things that are just all over their books and their bedspreads and all sorts of stuff are just, you know, potentially not there for you know, two or three generations' time. Yeah, my kids were really worried. Yeah, they go through a stage. The only time I ever felt that was when I found out about the inevitable heat death of the universe when I was like eight. <laughs> That's some terrifying <laughs> nights after that. <laughs> uh, so you're not old enough to remember when you got to sleep anyway. <laughs> No, I don't. By, by, uh, no, like when I was like, oh, PS2 controls. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know by, by uh, US presidents that had a tendency to fall asleep everywhere or yeah. or mad Russians. Nothing. I would I would have been I would have been I would have been a twinkle in my dad's eye when um when Reagan told Gorbachev to tear down this wall. Yeah. Oh, well, that was an interesting time. But yeah, all, all around those times. Yeah. Got aggressive from the. Uh, that was a good question. I think you just have to let all four um, little animal sequences play through. 
Yeah, the other thing you learn with kids. Puppy. You know in horror movies when someone wakes up and there's a person standing next to the bed and they go, ah, oh, and they yeah, yeah. Stay. Your kids all stand next to your bed, you wake up, and they'll be just standing there staring at you, waiting for you to wake up. Huh. <laughs> or you'll be walking around the house all the night, and they'll be standing around, like, or, and it gives you a heart attack. You're standing like, in the moonlight in the kitchen, and it's like, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> it's like, they're, they're horror movie staples, but your kids do it. Yeah. <laughs> but a number of times I've woken up, and, and like, my daughter will be just standing next to the bed in the dark, like, ah! Hmm. And she just asks you something really innocuous. Oh, I'm hot, I can't sleep, or uh, I want some water. Oh, my daughter did it on the weekend, like a couple of days ago. She said, um, I woke up and she's just there, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> is everything all right? She goes, my nightlight went out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I had my son in my room one night. He was where I couldn't see him. He was, he had a nightmare, so he went in the corner of the bedroom and he was crying. So I woke up, I'm just hearing this crying. I can't see a thing. This terrible routine. And I was starting to freak out like I'm imagining Watching this. you. Waiting for you so to So you run around and check, he's on in bed. Hoping you will <laughs> never <laughs> remember <laughs> these days of illness and treatment. Like I said, kids are trolls. Natural One day, trolls. I'll bring you here. Show you your tiny handprints on the wall and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. Are these, oh, the, these, these are the patients? people's yeah. hands? Oh, okay. Yeah, these are from, I think... Uh, Alan Border? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think in the children's hospital where Joel was staying, yeah, they, 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 they had this handprint of like all the incoming or the outgoing patients, I believe. I can't remember. Because they released a documentary about the, um, the uh, making of this game called Thank You For Playing. Like, which is like... It, which, it's the same deal as this game. It just, like, goes through the... Um, the parents as they were dealing with Joel's um, treatment and going wow. through and going through the making of this game. So they are all openable. Yeah, and these are all um, individual messages from Kickstarter backers and just from from any well wishes. And their mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or mom, American mom. Americans can't spell mum. cards to other people or yeah to other people rather yeah I gather who have died from cancer or yeah because yeah. it's still what aside from aside from heart related and like it's up there in terms of leading causes death alongside heart related stuff and you know natural causes yeah when you're older it's not nice say when you're old you've, you've had a crack mm. whereas yeah kids are just sort of like a wasted I mean they're bad you know, like... and lost lost potential yeah because you don't know if they're going to be good or bad mm. so like I said I think this is why if you're in that position you, you do consider religion because mm. you want to make some some sense yeah or at least hope that there is something beyond that. It's not just uh, that's not just eyes closed, done. Yeah. I think what's oh, I'm trying to remember something like I was hearing, like when a um, if a if a child out outlives their parents, they bury the, they bury the parents in the ground. When it's uh, when the parent outlives the child, they they have to bury the child in their hearts. 
No, no, every, if you ask any parent in the world, they'd go, I'm quite happy to go first. Oh no, 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 no